My name's Alan Wells, third generation of the Wells family. My grandfather, uh, Billy Wells, he and his brother Leonard started the business in 1945 just as a, to supply automotive mechanics here in town, which in time grew to serve the entire community and even the outskirts of Thomas County and, and others. Uh, and Uncle Richard, he and his wife after Vietnam and took over the business and ran it for about 38 years. In 2009, my wife and I, Tammy, uh, started the business and in 2013, we changed vendors to start buying from Napa to, as a supplier and we just serve uh, loggers, farmers, we have marine parts and, and the, my grandfather's motto was and we had got a sign up front there, small but we might have it. And so uh, we've always tried to do our best to give the best customer service as we possibly can. Actually, when it started was, was the middle of the street over here, uh, west of the store. And the city at some time wanted to put a street in, so they moved the building over. My understanding back in the 30s, it was actually a cotton warehouse, because it had the big wooden sliding doors on the side. So there's a lot of history there. Not exactly sure how old the building is, and uh, it's been here, you know, since 1945. Yeah, well, one thing that makes us unique is, you know, we're family owned, been here since, you know, 70 years. Uh, just the personal attention we try to give to each customer, and uh, we put back, to, you know, money into the community and uh, various school organizations and uh, being locally owned you know I can make the decision here whatever needs to be to get the customer going uh, just I don't have the I guess the change at corporate world I think attaches to a lot of stores and restricts their ability to service the customer I feel like the way they need to be serviced to try to take care of them you know best you can interacting with the community even outside of the business here is uh, feel is important. And I add, you know, different parts that I feel like the, you know, community can, could use. It's not an everyday item. Uh, you know, I added uh, battery cable making equipment to custom make battery cables. I got into uh, making old air conditioner lines off equipment that you normally can't buy. You know, I set up with a brazing apparatus to repair the old AC lines. So we do the hydraulic hoses, which is a big help. Uh, make air hoses, just custom make various air hoses and lines for people that uh, you're not really going to get at a corporate store. They're, just not, they're not really geared up for that. And so I try to find that little niche that I, I can do or we can do here that uh, to help the customer out that you're not really going to buy on. Can't get it online or, or your big corporate stores, just not going to have it. to still have the sign hanging up and, uh, and after 70 years not too many family owned businesses still around and here's here's one that got it going for 40 years <laughs> come on in Ken <laughs> Put what 45 years in, didn't you? No, no, 31. 31? 31. 31. Oh, you got more than that. We, we were talking about the small but might have it sign up there. Granddaddy put that up, didn't he? Or had it yeah. done? Yeah, him, him or Mr. Leonard won. Right. But uh, I know he'd be proud that after 70 years, you know, it's still family owned and, and uh, still going and servicing the community like it always has. Still to be a family owned small business in the year 2016, I, I say it's something you can take a hat off to. It's a great accomplishment. <laughs>